it will pass closest to the sun and uh, and then it will get warmed up close to the sun as astronomers detect a new traveler from beyond our solar system 3 i slash atlas but what should have been another data point triggers alarms it moves with impossible acceleration and its chemical signature defies nature nasa confirms the unthinkable this interstellar object is not natural and is now locked on a collision course with the sun if 3 i slash atlas truly isn't what it seems how was it found and what could its journey reveal about our place in the cosmos? At 2.17 UTC on July 1, 2025, the Atlas Telescope in Rio Hurtado, Chile, captured a string of images while the night crew monitored the incoming data stream. Automated detection software flagged an object moving against the background stars, its trajectory and speed outside the usual patterns. The alert protocol kicked in, sending a digital notification to the on-site operator's console, unidentified, fast, and bright enough to stand out at magnitude 18. The system assigned a temporary designation, A11PL3Z, and prompted the operator for immediate review. Within minutes, the night shift astronomer began cross-checking archival images and verifying the object's motion. Standard procedure called for a human scan of the data to rule out false positives, satellites, cosmic rays, or imaging artifacts. The object persisted across multiple exposures, its path cutting a clean line through the border of Serpens Cauda and Sagittarius. The operator logged the event and prepared the data package for the Minor Planet Center, double-checking timestamps and coordinates. By 3.06 UTC, the discovery file was uploaded to the MPC's confirmation page. The handoff from automated detection to official record was complete in less than an hour. The Atlas crew documented every step from the first flagged image to the final data submission, following a protocol refined over years of near-Earth object surveys. That night, the process unfolded with textbook precision, but the object itself later named 3i slash Atlas, would prove anything but ordinary. On June 14, 2025, nearly three weeks before the official discovery, a faint, fast-moving point of light appeared in the archives of multiple all-sky surveys. Analysts at PanStars, led by Ken Chambers, combed through stacks of pre-discovery images, searching for any trace of the object flagged by Atlas. The process, known as pre-covery, demanded patience and precision. Each candidate detection had to be measured, cross-matched, and confirmed against the expected path. Stacked exposures from PanStars and the Zwicky Transient Facility at Palomar revealed a consistent motion matching the trajectory that would later define 3 i slash atlas within a 48-hour window teams at panstar and the minor planet center coordinated a systematic review of all available data astrometric stacking techniques allowed faint signals to stand out against the background giving analysts the confidence to link the june 14 detections with the july 1st discovery every timestamp every coordinate was logged and checked for consistency. The MPC staff verified the chain of custody, ensuring that the object's presence in the sky was not an artifact or a statistical fluke. By the end of the review, the evidence was clear. 3. I slash Atlas had been in the field of view weeks before its formal identification. The archival confirmation not only extended the observational arc, but also anchored the object's inbound path, allowing for a much tighter orbit determination. This careful, collaborative verification laid the groundwork for everything that followed, setting a high bar for data integrity and transparency as the story of 3. I slash Atlas unfolded. Spectroscopic observations soon added a new layer of intrigue. On July 20th, the Very Large Telescope in Chile recorded a spectrum from 3i-Atlas 
that stood out in the archives. A bright, unmistakable signature from atomic nickel, but with iron lines absent even at the deepest exposures. This was not a subtle deviation. Over 40 days, repeated measurements from both VLT and Keck to confirm the pattern. Strong nickel emission, no detectable iron. In solar system comets, nickel and iron typically appear together in near equal measure, their atoms released as dust and ice vaporize in sunlight. Here, the ratio was more than 20 times higher than anything seen before. High-resolution images from Hubble and Keck revealed another oddity. A narrow jet, or tendril, streamed away from the nucleus, always oriented toward the sun. The structure held steady across multiple observing nights, resisting the chaotic, fan-shaped patterns familiar from cometary outgassing. Karen Meech, a veteran of interstellar object studies, described the nickel without iron result as a chemical fingerprint we've never encountered. She cautioned against quick conclusions, but the data left little room for familiar explanations. The evidence, atomic nickel alone, a persistent sunward jet, demanded a closer look at what forces were at work. Astrometric data from July and August revealed something no one expected. 3. I Atlas was not following a simple gravitational arc. Instead, its motion showed persistent, measurable departures from the path predicted by the Sun's pull alone. Analysts at the Minor Planet Center quantified the anomaly, a non-gravitational acceleration on the order of 2.1 plus or minus 0.4 times 10 to the minus 7 meters per second squared sustained over weeks. The effect was too strong and too steady to be dismissed as a minor calculation error or a quirk of the coma. For some, the explanation seemed clear. Outgassing, jets of vaporized ice, can nudge a comet off course, and 3i Atlas was visibly active. Yet the direction and magnitude of the acceleration didn't fit established models. The residuals left after subtracting gravitational forces lined up with the sunward jet, but the numbers were off by a factor of several compared to known comets with similar activity. David Jewett, a leading voice in cometary physics, urged caution. We've been surprised before, he told a packed session at the Division for Planetary Sciences meeting. Non-gravitational forces can be tricky, especially with objects we're seeing for the first time. Jewett pointed to the need for more precise orbit modeling and a longer observational arc, warning against jumping to conclusions about exotic origins. The debate sharpened the focus. Only with a refined orbit could the true nature of 3 and I Atlas's motion be resolved. Paul Chodas, director of NASA's Center for Near-Earth Object Studies, released the latest orbital solution for 3i Atlas on August 9th. The numbers were precise, the uncertainties shrinking with each new observation. Eccentricity, measured at 6.137, with a margin of just 6 ten thousandths, placed the object far beyond the reach of solar system gravity, an unequivocal hyperbolic escape. The inbound velocity relative to the Sun, V infinity, clocked in at 58 kilometers per second, nearly double the speed of previous interstellar visitors. Perihelion would occur on October 29, 2025, at one point, 36 astronomical units from the Sun, a path threading the space between Earth and Mars, but never coming closer to Earth than 1.8 AU. The state vector, updated daily, left little ambiguity. Every data point reinforced the same outcome. Chodas's team published the covariance matrix alongside the orbital elements, showing a confidence interval that had narrowed to a thin cone, pointing straight at the Sun. The probability of a major course change, given current data, was less than one in a million. For planetary scientists, the message was clear. The object's fate was sealed, and the race to observe its final approach had begun. Observatories worldwide prepared for an unprecedented surge in data collection. 
all eyes turning to the shrinking gap between theory and reality. Within hours of the updated trajectory release, the world's major observatories and space missions entered a coordinated sprint. Amy Mainzer, leading the NEOWISE mission, called an emergency session with teams from Hubble, Keck, JWST, and the Minor Planet Center. Schedules were cleared, instrument priorities reshuffled, and a global data pipeline was established to ensure no observation was lost as 3. I slash Atlas approached perihelion. Each asset brought a distinct capability. Neowise focused on thermal infrared, tracking heat signatures invisible from the ground and searching for any anomalous emission patterns. Hubble and JWST were tasked with high-resolution imaging and spectroscopy, aiming to resolve the jet structure and probe the chemistry of the coma. Keck's adaptive optics supplied rapid-response optical spectra, while ground-based arrays like Pan Stars and Zwicky Transient Facility delivered continuous astrometric updates. NASA's Solar Missions SDO, SOHO, Parker Solar Probe and Solar Orbiter adjusted their pointing and cadence to capture the moment of closest approach. Engineers at Mission Control reviewed data transfer protocols, ensuring that every byte from space-based assets would reach analysis teams without delay. Across continents and time zones, a network of scientists and engineers stood ready, each link in a chain designed to capture the fleeting signals of an interstellar visitor's final hours. On July 1, 2025, the ATLAS survey recorded the first confirmed sighting of 3i slash ATLAS, only the third interstellar object ever detected. Within 48 hours, data from Pan Stars and the Minor Planet Center verified its trajectory, and archival images from June 14 established a clear inbound path from outside our solar system. Spectroscopy revealed strong atomic nickel, but no iron, while imaging captured a sunward jet and measured a significant non-gravitational acceleration. NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory calculated a hyperbolic orbit, eccentricity 6.137, perihelion on October 30th, and a closest approach to Earth of 1.8 astronomical units. Despite these precise numbers, the origin and composition of 3i slash Atlas remain unresolved. Some data, including classified instrument readings, have not yet been released. As the world's telescopes prepare for its solar encounter, the facts are clear. 3i slash Atlas is real, its behavior is unprecedented, and its impending impact with the Sun will provide answers while raising new questions about what drifts between the stars and visits our solar neighborhood.